using the frequency dis distribution table, find the sample mean, variance, and the standard deviation. So as you see this table, uh, the frequency table is given. So as we discussed before, this table, we don't know actual data anymore because uh, we just uh, plug how many, da how many data are belonging to each classes, right? So for example, you know, the, uh, there are six data belonging to seven, uh, to eighteen, this class range. Even though we know there are six, uh, six data are belonging to those classes, but we don't know actual data. Therefore, we need to find the midpoint which represent each class. Okay, then midpoint case, you combine lower limit and upper limit of each class and divide by 2. So, this case, you do 7 plus 18 divided by 2. Then, you will get the midpoint value of this class. So, that value becomes 12.5 this case. Okay, please pause this uh, video for a second and try to find all the value and come back to that video, please. If you calculate all the midpoint value, you will get uh, 24.5, 36.5, 48.5, 60.5, 72.5, and 84.5. Those values represent each class data value. Therefore, uh, the mean and the variance and the standard deviation wouldn't be accurate because they are not actual data value. However, it is good enough to describe this data set. Alright, then let's find the mean. Uh, in order to find the mean, you need to find the sum of all this data. So, M times F, which means midpoint each data set times each frequency. So, if you multiply, so midpoint and frequency. So the first class case, 12.5 times 6, then you will get 75 here. Okay, so same way, please pause this video and find all the M times F value and come back to this uh, video. After calculating all this value, you will get those values and the total sum become 2000 89 and the total frequency will be 50 therefore the mean x bar equal to 2089 divided by 50 then you will get 41.78 here okay now we need to find the variance and the standard deviation so in order to find that you need to find m squared times f first. This value. Okay. So, which means you do midpoint square times frequency value. That's what you do. So, 12.5 square times 6. So, that case, um, 937. 0.5 like this. Okay. The same way. Please pause this video and find all other value and come back to this video. If you calculate that, you will get those big amount values and total sum become 10719.6.5 here. Okay, so we are almost ready to find the variance and the standard deviation. If you go back to your booklet, you will get this formula. Hence, S equal to square root n times sum of x squared times f minus sum of x times f squared over n times m minus 1. This whole formula is the standard deviation. Then, this inside value, there will be your variance here. So, we want to calculate the inside value to find the variance, and then we will take square root of that value, then we can find the standard deviation. So, S square, so S 
square equal to n times sigma x square times f minus sigma x times f square over n times n minus 1. So it becomes 50 times, you know, this means basically this value. So you just copy down 1, 0, 7, 1, 9, 6.5 minus this value, this value is here basically. So you are taking 2089 square over now 50 times 49 here. Okay, if you calculate that, you will get 406.4 one four. So now we can say this is our variance here. Now the standard deviation means s equal to square root variance. So four o six point four nine one four. Then you will get twenty point one six one six. That will be your the standard deviation. So the final answer mean is 41.78, the variance 46.4914, the standard deviation 20.1616. Okay?